Okay, sixth grade, lesson 52. This is mentally dividing decimal numbers by 10 and 100. Okay. So stay with me. Let's talk about mentally multiplying decimal numbers. Stay with me. If I did 6.54 times 10, do you remember how to do this mentally? Mm, times 10? Because there's one zero, we can yeah. move the decimal one time to the right. The answer becomes 65.4. You don't even have to do it. You don't even have to do it. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try another one. 7.4. But that only works with 10, right? No, let's do um, times 100. Oh, but yeah. 10, 100,000. What about 20? No. Oh. 30, 40, 50, yep. Okay. Okay. So okay, that would be 745. Right. Why? Because it moved twice. One, and then two, two zeros. You don't so even have one, to put the decimal two. at the end. 745. Okay. Knowing that same thought process, watch this. Ready? Divided by. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what was this one? This was. Seven. I bet it moves to the left. It does. Very smart. So, this time, how many zeros? One. one. So, so it would be 0. 0.654. So the answer would be 0. 0.654. That one would be 0. 0.745. Very good, because there's two. One, two. We had to go one, two. Point goes here, and we had to add a zero to help us out. The answer was zero seven four. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. So let me kind of prove to you real quick that I'm actually right. Okay. So we took six point five four and divided it by ten, and that equaled point six five four. Right? That's what we said. Six point five four divided by ten. Right? Yep. And we got point six five four. Okay. Now I'm actually going to do that problem, not mentally. Ready? 6.54 divided by 10. Okay. What would I do? There's not a decimal here, so what do I do with this decimal? Move Just it up. Round it up. Okay, bring it up. Okay. Will 10 go into 6? No. E, no. I mean 0. Yeah. But 10 will go into 65, right? Yeah. How many times? Uh, 6. 6 times 10 is 60. Bring it down. Okay. Five times. Ten times. Ten will go into fifty-four. Five times. Five times. Five times ten is fifty. Okay. Four. What am I going to do here? Add a zero. Slide it down. Four. Ten goes into forty. Four. Four times, and it ends. And what do you see? We get the same answer, but a whole lot less work. Okay. Yep. Isn't that fun to do? Uh -huh. All right. Let's do a, one more on your on your paper. Try it. Or just do it mentally. That is 0 0.0375. Very good. Because why? Because it moved twice. One, two. One, two. Point three seven point zero three seven five is the final answer. You got it? Now, where do you think this is going to become confusing? when you start getting problems like this. And you've got to recognize that. Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna know this one means go to the left with your decimal. This one means go to the right with your decimal. So if you want to write that down as a note in your notes, mm -hmm. I would definitely say that. Because this definitely needs to be remembered. Okay? Division means go to the left with your decimal. Multiplication means go to the right with your decimal. Slide it to the right. 100. Yeah, you can. Okay? And that is lesson 52.